Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a haul for you because I placed an order from Makeup Geek. Now, I've never really watched Makeup Geek's videos and I never really cared about her eyeshadows, to be honest. And then, you know, I'd heard people talking about them and I'd heard they were good and whatever. And then, like, every single person's video this, like, 2014 favorites video this year had Makeup Geek eyeshadows in it. And all of a sudden, I was just like, I need them all. So, I placed an order and I bought 16 of them. Totally reasonable to just buy them all at once, right? Right. Um, so the first thing I picked up from her website were actually two extra large Z palettes. This is what they look like. I actually have already reorganized them. This one has my MAC eyeshadows and pigments in it. This one has my Makeup Geek eyeshadows as well as my Coastal Sense eyeshadows in it. This is what I had before, which is a large Z palette. This is the extra large Z palette. Hopefully you can see the slight difference, um, it looks like a minor difference, but it actually is much larger. The Z palettes are $28, and I honestly love that she has them on her website because her eyeshadows are, like, made to fit in them. Perfect. So I'm just gonna go through and do the swatchy swatchies and tell you how much I love these eyeshadows. Oh, I just dropped one. Yay. So the first color I picked up was Shimma Shimma. This is what it looks like. It just is a light champagne color, but when you swatch it... It is the most beautiful iridescent champagne color ever. It looks so gorgeous on a lid, really brightens. It is a dupe for Steal a Kitten, and I love it. Um, the next one I picked up is Rockstar, which is one of her newer ones. They came out with some new ones, I think, earlier this year. Hi, Dar. So this is what Rockstar looks like, and it looks really, like, inconspicuous in the pan. And when you swatch it, even it's like, whatever, it's just an eyeshadow, but... I hope you can see it on my hand. It is this one here. It is like a silver, but you can't really tell. It has like this beautiful pink duochrome to it. It's such a gorgeous shade on the lid. I absolutely love this color. It's very unique. Um, next up, I have Creme Brulee, which is just a light matte brown. I actually bought a lot of light matte browns in this little haul because I don't actually have a lot of matte light browns. Like I don't have like Max Cork or Wedge or Kit or any of that stuff. So I kind of decided to stock up on them. This is what Creme Brulee looks like. It is a warm, light matte brown. Kind of reminds me of Naked, but it's a little bit warmer. It's nice. The eyeshadows are really creamy, really pigmented. They blend beautifully. Love them. This is one of my favorite shades. This is Barcelona Beach. I've had these for about a week, so I've had some time to kind of play around with them and tell you which ones I love. So I swatched that one there. It is a cool matte brown matte light brown color. I'm wearing it in my, actually all over my lid today. Just a nice like light smoky brown look I got going on and I really like that a lot. Next up I have the color Unexpected which is one of the kind of raved about colors in this collection. It is a light matte gray toned purple color. It really reminds me of Urban Decay's Tees. And it's a really beautiful transition color for any cool tone look. It's just a really nice mauve light purple color. Love it. Um, then I have one of the three taupes that I picked up because that's the life I live. This is called Homecoming. It is such a beautiful taupe. It is much more warm toned than most taupes I own. I own a lot of the cooler toned satin taupes that are more purpley. This is more of like a bronzy taupe color but it's so beautiful love the shimmer finish on this um next up i have one of her most raved about eyeshadows which is coco bear which is this really warm matte brown color and i didn't show you it on the back of the eyeshadows it has the uh name of the shadow i wish it had the finish but it doesn't this one is matte it is just a really pretty warm brown color. I don't have a lot of warm browns because I am more pink toned. I wear cool toned stuff, but I thought this would be nice to have in my collection. So I picked it up. Um, and then the next color is a, another taupey color. Actually, this one's not too taupey. It's not technically a taupe. This one is called Hipster, which is just like a sick name. I love it because like hipster, die. This is a satin finish, cool toned... Like almost like a gray brown. It kind of reminds me of copper plate, but it also kind of has like some green undertones in it. It's a very interesting color. It's very unique. I don't have anything like it. <laughs> Lies. 
I probably have so many similar to it, but like nothing the same and that's totally different. Haha. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up, this one is called Preppy. This one is so cool. So it it also has, kind of has those green tones to it. And it's a matte shade. But it has a lot, like, look at that. That's so pretty. Um, it kind of, it's like a light, cool toned brown with, like, almost all of undertones to it. It's so unique. So many unique colors. And then the next one I picked up is Chickadee, which is another one of her like raved about shadows. This really reminds me of Coastal Scents Oktoberfest, which I was trying to order, but it was sold out when I was placing my order. It is literally a light, warm, like brown, orange color. It's so pretty. And I haven't used this yet, I don't think, but for the crease, that's going to be beautiful. Like, especially in fall. Mm, stop. And then I picked up Latte, which is just a light, cool toned brown lol maybe it's more of like a medium cool tone brown now it's pretty light it's a matte shade looks like that it is just a matte cool tone brown and then i picked up a, another taupe this is top taupe notch taupe notch like top notch and this is a cooler toned taupe but this one is a taupe that doesn't have as much this has more of a satin finish than a um frost finish like the other taupes i have so that's what that looks like. And then the next color I have is the last taupe I picked up. Only three. Like, that's not bad for me. I just stuck my fingernail in it, though. <laughs> this is called Prom Night, and this is beautiful. I think this one's supposed to be the dupe for Satin Taupe, but I cannot remember. But it is definitely, like, that purpley silver taupe color that, like, made me fall in love with taupes. I absolutely adore it. I only have three more shadows. Um, the next one is Bitten, which is one of her, like, cult favorite shadows. It is this deep matte. It's it's kind of satin, kind of matte, like, burgundy. Just freaking gorgeous. I absolutely love that color. Then I have Pop Culture. Stop. Stop with that swatch. Look at it. It's, like, this beautiful... I wore it the other day, and my friend was like, what is on your eyelids? It's so beautiful. It is like a um, periwinkle purple kind of color with duochrome to it. It's so shimmery and beautiful. I absolutely love it. Ooh, those colors look nice together. Bitten in the crease. Mm, looking like an eye look. And then the last color I picked up was Corrupt. Guys, if you get one thing, I would say get Corrupt. Now, when you rub your finger in it, it feels gritty because there's actually micro particles, like little tiny shimmers in there. But look at the swatch. It's so black and I barely touched it. And one swipe on my hand, like, ah, ah. The most pigmented black I have ever used in the history of my life. I literally like put my other blacks away because this is all I need from now on in my life. So I chose only $5.99 and honestly, I see the hype. I get the hype. I understand the hype. I just dropped that in shimma shimma. <laughs> they are fantastic eyeshadows they are super pigmented they are really inexpensive i would say they're probably better than my mac eyeshadows i understand what everyone's talking about now like nothing will replace satin taupe or blanc type ever but mac eyeshadows are hit or miss these are all really great shadows i would say um they're creamy they're pigmented they blend well they're very interesting colors she has like a lot of beautiful shades i just love them they're only 5.99 Shipping to Canada was, I think, about $15, but I ended up actually shipping it to the States because I have someone, a friend that lives there, and they sent it to me. And literally, I placed the order, and they came the next day to the place in the States, not to me, obviously. But, like, that's insane. That is amazing shipping. I cannot rave enough about these eyeshadows. I have been using them nonstop for the past, like, week. I love them. So that is my haul. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.